This uh, first poem was inspired by uh, working in lots and lots of jobs. I graduated college down in LSU, waiting plastic diner tables, central baton rouge, from off-duty hookers to coffee mug hookers, I served them with a smile and a pad. Three loaves and five fishes, my wishy were dishes, I held on to the dignity I had. A TV evangelist and his wife took the window, corner table, seat number five, she played with her neckline and promoted her chest. She played with the chili till it was hot mess. She played with her hair till I could take no more than her diamond earring fell to the floor. As she bent over, I got embarrassed. That rock must weigh in about a hundred carats. I saw it winking out under her chair. The same time I spotted she lacked underwear. Where the sun don't shine on the righteous I find. But right now, waiting plastic diner table, central baton rouge. Thank you, God. <laughs> yeah. Please, come to me. Thank you. And because I was thinking about the, the different, we had a great rapper on the other night at the open mic. He was fantastic. And some people say my poetry is crap, so I decided to have a go at rap. After all, how hard can it be for <laughs> an alliterating rhymer, a subliminal, subliminal diviner of wordplay like me? And I start with a pop star word like funky, then I perambulate a bit like a monkey. A minor operation, not painful or drastic, just attach my arm with a piece of elastic. <laughs> then I walk about a bit more like a monkey, trying to score a word like a poetic junkie, then it'll be smooth and it drops into clunky stuff. That is very much a poor imitation of an art form that's captured a nation, ringing like a mobile set to vibration. I don't really think I've found my vocation. Now I'm waiting for a rhyme with anticipation. Any chance of you making a donation? I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, writer's block. It's about 450 by 120 by 225 and it's made of concrete. <laughs> it sits unbidden in my sedentary room, so middle a riddle that has no beginning, no end either. I came to Spain to write, not because you write it's warmer and the light should serve as motivation, inspiration for a place drenched in history, a South that was by turns subjected to religion in all its versions, its submersions of free will beneath the gold-edged robes and incense of poverty and preference, a reference to every group that somehow self-declared superiority to disdainfully regard the mediocrity of opportunity to shine amongst those not in thrall, not all on brand, on message bereft of blessings from above, bereft of a God of cruelty, a God of love. O oh, Lamb of God that take away the sins of the words, have mercy on me. I thought about the nudie speech, maybe catch some of the action, but when you spot the floppy Brits, you fail to see the attraction. I like bums and tits and naughty bits and legs, but on reflection, when seen in total nakedness, they fall short of perfection. Waist that sag and tails that wag and not so fat to fight. It looks more cellular heavy than a touch of cellulite. So I stay down by the swimming pool and see what's not revealed imagination, filling in the white between the peel. I don't advise full nakedness, as any woman knows. There's more to making perfect love than what's beneath the clothes. I blame the visual media for showing us perfection, constantly campaigning for a general erection. You'll never find real beach bodies immortalizing art, but as a little voice reminds me, even supermodels fart. <laughs> <laughs> this is gone. I still see you, I still do, in that sound you made asleep after drinking, the lines on your brow and seriously thinking, and the flights that we took across the Atlantic, the scent of the candles you thought were romantic. I still smell you, I still do. In the fluff of your jumper held up to my face, the shadow of the sight of you in every place, in the laughs that we shared no one else could see, I convinced myself, you're not actually gone from me. I still hear you, I still do. In the hands of the watch I bought for your birthday, the songs that we played when we placed you in the earth that day, I still miss you, I still do. I've been working with um, a girl called Saffron, who her parents probably thought would be a delicate little flower, and uh, she isn't. But <laughs> she said to me the other day was, because she's young as 
most people I find are. And she said, I like people that I don't. And I thought that was a very interesting thing. So I imagine what it must be like to like people but not. So, I like people but I don't. I want to touch you but I won't. You think you're different but you're just the same. I like people but I don't. It's been a while since you and I saw each other, you waved and smiled. Instead of hugging you, I passed surprise. You want to kiss me in the mist. I like people but I don't. I want to touch you but I won't. You think you're different but you're just the same. I like people but I don't. I went on holiday to Barcelona. I was amazed that I was on my own. My mother told me that I had to phone her. I didn't call her, now she's dead. I like people but I don't. I want to touch you but I won't. You think you're different but you're just the same. I like people but I don't. I have Ferraris but I've always wrecked them. Can't play an air guitar without a plectrum. I think I might be somewhere on the spectrum. I'm told on Facebook it's the best. I like people but I don't. I want to touch you but I won't. You think you're different but you're just the same. I like people but I don't. Thank you very much. <laughs>